I absolutely ate, breathed and slept Millwall, the club. It, it just got in on me so much, you know, to the point that, um, you know, it, it, it family nearly came second at stages, you know. Sessions at times were nothing short of barbaric. I've seen goalkeepers come in on trial and they're in bushes getting sick and vomiting and getting nosebleeds. It was about ownership and owning that jersey for me, about being number one. It was so important to me to be number one because it became about my identity of actually who I was. It actually reinforced my identity of, of, of David Ford. It came an absolute part of me, it came totally ingrained in me. So I just looked him in the eyes and I gave him the old stare. And I said, Bobby, I'm gonna breathe in. And when I breathe in, you pull on that finger, right? And you better put it back in, right? Chairs start to come flying. I'm sat there and next thing this boomerang, a chair comes flying around my head and off with the other pitch the other side. And I'm thinking, oh my God, it's absolutely gone off here. We're probably, I'd say, the first and only team to ever rock up to a final at Wembley with a pair of tracksuits on. And they were booked as well. I swear to God, yeah. A shell suit booked a tracksuit. And I folded on my knees and I'm like that down on my knees. And he goes, are you fit? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm fit. That was like Leeds as well. It's the same thing with Charlton. I always knew playing Charlton were like, we're going to beat Charlton. And even when we were struggling, even when we were bottom of the league or even when we had no confidence, we'd always beat Charlton. When the Dens are full house, it's such a special place. You know, and, and one of my fondest memories of Millwall is that Monks chant. To hear that chant and to hear 17 and a half thousand people chant that is some feeling that just goes absolutely through me.